Installing MX Linux in VirtualBox. Before getting started please download and install the MX Linux ISO from the link in the description. First open VirtualBox and click on new and select a name for this virtual machine. Then select a folder to install it in and set type to Linux and version to Debian 64 bit. Then click next. Select the amount of RAM you want to allocate for this virtual machine. Select create a virtual hard disk now and click create. Click next again. Select dynamically allocated and then click next. Then choose the amount of hard drive space you want to allocate for this virtual machine. I choose 100 GB for example and then click create. Also make sure you are selecting a hard drive with enough space to mount this virtual machine on. Now click on settings in virtual box. Go into the advanced tab under the general category. Make sure that shared clipboard and drag and drop are set to bidirectional. Next go to the processor tab under the system category and set the number of threads allocated for your virtual machine to at least 2 threads, if not more depending on what you are planning to use the VM for. Next in the display category, choose VBOX VGA for the graphics controller. You can enable recording if you like to record your VM work in the future, but I like to use OBS from my host machine. Next in the storage category, choose the MX Linux ISO you downloaded and place that into the controller IDE slot. Now go to the network category, in the attached to section you can configure it how you like, I will leave it as NAT. In the advanced section below you can change the MAC address by reloading it. Once you are done, press OK and close out the settings menu, and then start your virtual machine. In the boot options, choose MX Linux 18.3 option on the top and press enter. You can change your VM resolution by pressing view, and then in the virtual screen category choose your resolution. Once MX Linux boots up in live mode, click on the installer program in the top left corner of your screen. Once the terms of service page opens up, read it and then click next. In the next page, choose the hard drive you want to install this distro on if you are installing it on an actual machine. You can choose your boot drive in the use disk category, and if for some reason your disk isn't there, you can use the partition tool to find it and create a partition. In VirtualBox however, just leave all setting on this page as is and click next. Next check mark the install grub for Linux and Windows option. Location to install should be in MBR and then click next. Please ensure that the grub install disk is your boot drive if you are installing on an actual machine. In the next page, choose your computer's name, domain name and work group name and then click next. In the location page. Choose your location and set it to whatever you like it doesn't always need to be your actual location. Finally create your username, your user password, and a root password for your machine. After this click next, and then wait for the virtual machine to finish installing.
Once the installation is complete, click on finish, and then reboot your virtual machine or actual machine. If you are installing on an actual machine, remove your device containing your ISO, and then proceed to log back in. In VirtualBox just click enter when it prompts you choose which version of MX Linux to boot from the grub menu. Log back in. Click on Clan Key Toggle to toggle the time and hardware reader on the desktop. Now that you have installed the VM, run the terminal. In MX Linux you can drag programs to the desktop and run them, after marking them as executable. You will need to update your system first thing, after checking your virtual machine is connected to the internet. To update your machine, run sudo apt get update. Type in your root password to proceed. Once that is done. Type in sudo apt get upgrade y in order to install the updates onto your machine. Since this is the first time it is updating, this could take a while. Once all the updates are installed, you will have to reboot your machine and log back in. Log back in. Once the reboot is complete, it is now time to install the guest editions. This part is only needed for virtual machines. If you have installed MX Linux on an actual machine then you are done. All you will have to do is uninstall Adobe Flash from the MX package installer. However for virtual machines, you now have to do the following. Open the terminal. Type in sudo apt update and enter your root password. Then after that is done type in sudo apt upgrade. Once that is also done, type in sudo apt install build essential dkms. Once those are installed, close the terminal. Click on the Devices tab on the top side of the VirtualBox screen. From there click on Insert Guest Editions at the bottom of the menu. Once the guest editions folder opens up, you now have to open the terminal and use command directory to open the terminal in the guest editions folder. Or just right click anywhere in the guest editions folder and click open terminal here. In the terminal, type in the sudo slash command to run the vbox linux editions.run file. After that type in yes when prompted to and wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is done, reboot your machine and then unmount the guest editions from the virtual machine. Once you log back in, you can use Task Manager to see that the guest editions are running. 
there should be various programs called VBox Client that are the guest editions are work. Once you see those, unmount the guest editions folder and you are done. I will now show you the two package installation programs that are available from install for MX Linux. The first is called the Synaptic Package Manager. To run either of the two package managers you will be prompted to type in your root password, as will most programs in any Linux distribution. Synaptic is a very popular package manager that is used very frequently in Debian-based distributions. It has almost every Debian package in existence. The second package manager is the MX package manager. This one is more specific to MX Linux. Though like Synaptic is also has a large variety of packages to install. Not just stable Debian packages, but unstable and testing packages as well. It even has flat packs. From here you can install popular programs that are used in most MX Linux distros. They have commonly used audio and Serach engine programs among other things. From here you can uninstall Adobe Flash if you so choose to do so. Also if you need to update your kernel and want to use the optical MX Linux version, you can do that from here as well. And that concludes this video. If this has been a help to you, please leave a like or not I don't really care either way. I'm just posting Linux videos to remind myself how to do these things because I'm forgetful. Peace out.